Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to go into a little bit more about chakras. And um, why they are there. And basically, as we were in, I'm going to, uh, again, I'm going to use the terms down and up, even though sideways would be a better, or out and in would be a better um, definition, but none of them are really good. So I'm going to use up, up and down, uh, because I'm just giving you a heads up, and that's what I'm going to do. So in the process of from when the creator said, okay, we're going to divide these, these uh, vibrations over here to what you would call light, over here, dark. I'm going to run the light ones. My best friend, Lucifer, he's going to run the dark ones. And now we're going to start, um, I think they use the term fractaling down. So we're going to divide, 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 divide. Get in deeper and deeper and deeper. We're going to look at this closer and closer and closer. So we're, instead of there being a big block of light and a big block of dark, we're going to go, okay, let's divide the light into two. Now we're going to divide both of those halves into two and on and on and on and on. And you get down to the human body. And the human body in, say, 5D is, uh, there's not chakras. There is a energy that emanates, really, it, it, it really kind of engulfs the whole body. But to, in the process of going down, it, it went into the high, what we call high heart which is right above your heart, like here. And then from there, it divided into the different chakras. And there's a lot more than just the ones that are in your body in that process of going down and down and dividing more and more and more. And then those chakras go out into all kinds of different places too and divided out and out and out. But as we're moving up to 5D, you don't want those, those divisions, right? You don't want those divisions. So you're going to start uh, collapsing them. And if you haven't done this already, uh, then you really should do this. If you can sit in a meditative state and if you feel like there is a difference in the chakras, there's like an energy ball that's in the root and then another one in your gut. And anyway, they're circled up, throat or die crown above you know all of them well you can look up chakras and and even these are not the same in each and every person so don't get caught up in that they're all the same because they're not and some people will have uh stronger ones than others and when i did this mine was really really i had two areas that were really blocked uh really were tiny bits of energy instead of nice round moving energy balls that were feeding everything and of course first one that was really messed up was the root which is trust and uh <clears throat> yeah for a very good reason you can look that up and then my third eye was the other one that was really 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 messed up anyway so you want to um you want to take away that division because we're going back into oneness so all of those chakras need to collapse into one high heart energy ball that's feeding everything and eventually that high heart energy ball is going to get bigger and bigger and it's going to surround your body engulf your body so you want to collapse those so you go into a meditative state and just feel just ask ask your body do i have chakras now those chakras could have been put in the body via implants or it could have been just you were born with them that way uh, it depends upon which timeline you were on, what game you were playing. But it doesn't really matter because how you get rid of them is the same no matter what they are. And that is usually if you ask at this point in a meditative state, you can just ask and see, do I have a chakra here? Do I have one here? Do I have one here? And state the intention that you want them all to collapse. Now, it may feel better if you have like uh, two of them collapse into one ball and then add another one or collapse two more in a different area and then put them together. But you want to bring them all together with the intent and the knowingness that you're going towards a unity consciousness. So you're, you're going out of teeny tiny little bits and you're putting these bits together and then you're going to take this bit, find another bit and put it together, go up and up and up until we're all one. 
and that's unity right make sense so I just wanted to go over this and make sure that everybody who is listening to my videos are doing this because that certainly needs to be done before you can go to 5d and really that's up to you it can be as simple as a statement uh, go into a quiet place and just say if I've got chakras separate chakras I want one energy ball in my high heart area and that's really all you got to do guys you guys are creator gods you do not need to this does not need to be all difficult it does not take a lot of time and energy to do these things once you understand how that you are a creator God which is the reason why I tell you and remind you of this over and over and over because I forget you probably forget and I want you to keep that in your mind because if you consider that you're a God you know your version of God can do anything and that's you you can do anything so you really do not need a long bunch of affirmations or meditations don't make this more difficult than it needs to because that gives it um, that gives it energy to make it more difficult if you consider it more difficult then that's the message you're sending to the universe and the universe will make it more difficult so keep it simple keep it very simple kiss method always always keep it that in the forefront that all you've got to do if you don't know anything about chakras if you don't then this is all you need to do is you just need to say if I've got chakras don't want them anymore condense all of that into a high heart ball of energy that is kind of moving through the whole body feeding it energetically makes sense yeah like that <laughs> put it all into one because eventually you're going to take that high heart energy and you're going to expand it to cover your whole body and then you're going to expand it even more to merge with this or that and then eventually we will all merge into one like that <laughs> but you need to get your body all of that energy into one now once you do that then you can start you can start doing things like uh, uh, once that's all together into one then you can start working with any healing issues that you have and I know I know guys especially and I know at least several of you have chronic ailments and um, I'm not going to tell you not to go to the doctor because that would be silly. I'm not going to do that. Whatever is helping you, then I think you should continue it. But ultimately, I want you to understand and know, no, 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 that you're the one that created whatever process, disease process or difficulty that you have. You're the one that created it for whatever reason. So you may have to go back in your life and try to figure out when it started and where it came from. Lots of, uh, just almost all diseases stem from stress. So you can probably trace it back to there. But remember, if you approach these diseases from the perspective that you are a god and you create everything in your life, then you can go to timelines where you don't have that disease. You can do this because you are a god and I know I tell people it's not like I don't have these issues I deal with them although I've gotten a lot of it fixed a lot of it healed a lot of my issues are healed uh, because of this belief because I do know that I am a god I do know that I create these things and for whatever reason and I can make them go away too and you can too you are a powerful creator god and even if it's a chronic disease and you've got to say it over and over and over again, you need to say whatever it is that you need to say. Something that you can't see, like the chakras, a simple statement, if you, especially if you know nothing about them, a simple statement is good enough because you don't have any belief systems countering that, right? You just don't. So there's nothing to fight against. When you've got a chronic uh, disease process, it's been with you for 10, 20, well, even a year it's it's much you know it's much trickier because you have to go against what everyone has told you what you've studied up about it the medicines that you're taking daily all of that stuff those are all belief systems that you have to disengage from in order to do the in order to heal yourself all of the healers out there 
Now is the time for y'all to step up and teach people how to heal themselves. It is now uh, the time for everyone to learn to do this themselves, which is why I tell you what I do, what I say in these videos. It is meant to trigger the knowingness in you so that you can do and know what I do and know. Okay? That's what it's for. It is not meant for me to do it for you. That's not what I'm here for. I am not here to do that, which is the reason why I don't have a website where I'm going to, um, you're going to pay me and we're going to go on with each other and talk for an hour and I'm going to heal you or I'm going to um, talk to the dead people in your life for you. That is not what I'm here for. I am here to help you remember that you can do this yourself and i hope that the healers here uh, would love to see some videos from healers and empaths guys i know um uh g-man just did a video with with seth there are quite a few empaths on this channel or yeah that come and listen to me um videos that you guys can do to help people teach people Help them remember how to be an empath themselves because everyone has the capability of being an empath. That is the beginning of telepathy. And the uh, what classically is known of as being an empath, you're reading people's emotional state. Well, the next step is right below that, is seeing why they're in that emotional state. Well, all of the empaths are going to have to go deeper because as this group moves towards 5D, the emotions that you classically think of will become much more subtle so it's time to go beyond the uh, emotion and into why they're having that emotion they're having that emotion which will lead deeper and deeper and deeper so anybody who has any kind of experience with with me on my chakras I just simply uh, I had worked on chakras before I died um, and so I knew that they were there. I thought they were supposed to be there. And so I had done very little, but I had done enough work with them to know that where they were, where there was an issue. But after I died, about two years into it, I asked the question slash remembered slash whatever. But because I didn't have a lot of experience with them, it was pretty easy for me to collapse them into one and to place them in my high heart. Now at this time, I will expand that over my whole body and beyond and then bring it back and take it out and bring it back. Uh, and I take it out, you know, all the way through this whole creation and then bring it back. Um, I do that a lot. So I, I really don't have good advice other than my way for all of the people that don't have an experience with chakras is to just state it as fact. This is what I want. This is what will be because I'm a God and I say so. And then there are others that may have struggled more. We may have been uh, using chakras for years and years and may have belief systems around them. And how did you do it? If you haven't done it yet, do it and then do a, a video. You don't have to do a video like G-Man does with a lot of people. You can just do an audio version of it. And uh, if you don't know, have a, a YouTube channel, you can send it to Jeremy. Um, just click on one of his uh, on his site, send him a message. Ask him what his email is. I think he's got it several places. Um, if not, I'll ask his permission to put them on my sites. I know his song is right underneath, and so is Nia's Family Collective. You certainly can uh, talk to G-Man, too, and he will explain the process totally. So I want to get into anyone that's got... Um, uh, that, that has something to say about their path or how the, the different stages of enlightenment, anything that you, a step where you remembered something, an aha moment, maybe from my videos, you were watching some video and you went, ah, oh, I remember that. I remember that. And how did you incorporate that into your life? All of you who are empaths, if you could do some kind of video or audio on how you do it. I know it's tricky, right? Especially if you've done it your whole life. How do you explain that to somebody? Uh, those who weren't empaths that started doing it, share. 
anything that we can do amongst ourselves back and forth to help trigger each other's memory that's the point that is what i am trying to do and i i know that you guys don't think that what you have to say will help anybody but you're wrong you're wrong all i've got is my perspective all i've got is what i did but everybody does it differently and and your way will help trigger somebody that my way did not so that is the goal to so try to get everybody for anybody who who speaks to uh people who have passed away um talk to people about how you do that and uh because they're actually the easiest people beings to talk to on a different vibration is humans that have passed away they're the easiest to talk to um it's a good place to start uh, if you're not interested in that then go somewhere else but any of the healers if you'll share how you heal yourself how you heal others that would be extremely helpful um all of you artists no matter what your art is if you'll share um how that feels getting in the zone how do, how do, how do you get in this zone what does that feel like what do you produce on the other side i think everyone is an artist in some way i truly believe that because we are creator gods there is creator before gods that is what we do we create in some way shape or form so don't underestimate your experiences please don't underestimate your experiences that naya family a collective channel is there for you it's for you to share it's for you to listen to other people and uh be triggered to do something that you don't already do on our way to 5d and all of these things you will be able to do you will be able to do everything that i do everything that i know you will know you will remember <clears throat> it will come back to you how it comes back to you in one step is up to you and it'll be unique to you and that's part of the game that's a part of the game so <clears throat> especially if you state that intention feel free jump in there say something to your pub friends and say hey you know that that her remembering naya's remembering of where she was on the other side uh some assist here some assist here i want to get to that point um there are all kinds of things going on on this planet that people are hiding especially young people uh they're really good fireballs are big creating a fireball and throwing it uh there's a lot of kids doing that out in forests that nobody knows about ice balls second favorite thing uh guys a lot of young men like the fireballs better not all not all but uh the ice women really like and you can or girls you can throw that and it, it can make it can freeze a bush they do that um telekinesis a lot of telekinesis going on on the planet it's lots of loads and loads of fun so remember that you are all one you're one with that pencil so if you look at i put a pencil on a table and talk to your hand and talk to the pencil ask the pencil to move with your finger just practice little tiny things to practice but you have to believe that you are creator god and that you can do it you have to believe that first which is why i've done a lot of creator god creator god creator god so now y'all are getting really good and many many people have gone to g-man and opened up and done videos and he is really good at at um drawing people out tara i think tara's going to be really good at it too um tara i did not know you had that that strength but you were really good in the interviewing with g-man you're very good at it too someday wouldn't it be cool to have like uh, them both of those guys on a you know tara and g-man tara and g-man show and have people where they interview them and talk about it wouldn't that be cool all right now i've rambled back and forth on a whole bunch of subjects here so we'll cut it off right here but you guys get the picture i think you get the picture on several things dealing with chakras and sharing uh your gifts and teaching everybody how to do them it is the time for everybody to heal themselves now that is what is next is heal yourself remember yourself do these things all of these psychic abilities yourself it's time to learn now it's time for you to do it yourself all right 
Okie dokie. That's it for this one. Huge hugs. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll talk to you later. Bye now.